There we go. Go ahead, Carl. Wilbur, come back, please. If you don't, you'll get caught like always. Shift the blame to me. We'll fight and not talk for a week. Then get tired of not talking. You'll come up with another crazy plan, and I'll get blamed again. Relax, Carl. Operation Tut is complete. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You're skipping carefree down the road to inevitable doom Carl, and... I barely touched anything. I'm sure that whatever minor alteration may have occurred will go completely unnoticed. Unnoticed? Gee, you think they'll notice this? Chariot of the God? I know this looks bad, but let's examine the evidence. That could be any kid riding a time machine. See? My hair is completely different. Yeah, but... Wilbur. There you are, Wilbur. I'm leaving on a business trip for a few days. Don't touch the time for sure. Oh, 
alter existence as we know it, okay? Absolutely. Wait a minute. Great dad. Goodbye, Wilbur. See you in a few days. What did he say about the time machine? He said, give him a crib of gobnop, we're gonna have him dig it. Which means, have fun with the time machine. Just a little code talk that my dad and I have. Yeah, we're tight. See? I just need one more person to finish my collection. Someone who's suave, debonair, and has rock star good looks. To the time machine! the garbage yet? No, but I'm dying to do it. Honest. Because I, I think someone just changed the garage code. What? But I needed to get in there. This oh. is terrible. I know you're disappointed. Taking out the garbage is quite a thrill ride. Now, why don't you go ask your cousin Laszlo if he knows anything about the code? Where is he? Sounds like he's in the lab. Wilbur, how bad I paint you orange. Hey, I love orange. But maybe later. Listen, someone changed the garage code and I need to get in there. Well, I didn't change it. But I know how you can find out who did. All you need is a private detective, two giraffes with telescopes, three... That seems complicated. Ow. Well, maybe you could just build a scanner and use it to scan the keypad for DNA. Use the disassembler in the storage room to get the parts you need. Then, you can build the scanner with our handy Robinson transmogrifier.
Oh, yeah! Well, now that you have a scanner, you should know I'm always on the lookout for chromatically interesting scans. How come? Oh, I use the scans for reference in my paintings. All the scans you make will be automatically uploaded to my database. And cousin, I'll gladly reward you for any scans you find. Great! Well, I've got to go scan the garage door and find out who changed the code. See you later, Wilbur. says Grandpa Bud changed the garage code. I think I saw him in the dining room. Oh! Wilbur, over here. Well, hey there. Is this where we sign up for the treasure hunt? Uh, no. I need the code to the garage. You were the last one There's to- There's no time for that now. You gotta help me find my teeth! Pearly whites, they've gone missing! I bet it's mom singing frogs again. Listen, if I promise to find your teeth for you, will you tell me the new garage, garage code? Who's he? What's he? Yeah, my brain's all a fluster. Find my teeth, and then we'll talk about that doohickey. Meanwhile, I'll search the peanut butter. Right! I'll go check the music room. Wilbur, it's me, Laszlo. If you're going to the music room, see if you can scan all the frogs. I'll upload a reward to your family album when you've scanned them all. Oh, well, I only found a paper airplane, a dust bunny, and a potato chip that looks like Jamaica. Jamaica? Cool. Now, did you change the garage code? Yep. So, what is it? I don't know. Someone else changed it right after I did. Don't recall who, though. Why don't you ask Uncle Art? He's out back by his spaceship.
Greetings, pizza eater. Wilbur, you're just the boy I wanted to see. I need help. Me too. I have to find out who changed the code to the garage. No time for that now. We're in the midst of a crisis of interstellar proportions. I made a pizza delivery to Nebulon 5 and picked up a herd of zomzats. Cute little critters. I had a bunch of them on my ship, but now they've escaped. Wilbur Robinson is on the job. Uh... Any hint on how to capture them? Yes. A high-energy discharge will stun them long enough to catch them. You know, like from that charge ball game you're always playing? Great. I'll just go get my charge ball glove from my room. That a boy, nephew. Go get him. Another successful mission. Hey, Wilbur! Nice delivery. You tracked down every last one of them. Grandpa Bud said you might know who changed the code to the garage? Sorry, but I'm afraid I've been out making deliveries. Why don't you go ask your Aunt Billy? She should be in the train room. Billy, 
Did you change the code to the garage door? Oh, Wilbur, you've got to help me. I'm caught in the middle of a scheduling disaster. What's the problem? My toy train is out of juice, and the switch to the recharge station is jammed again. Could you help me, Wilbur? I'll have it fixed in a jiffy. I need to get into the cannon range. Can you help me? You'd need an extendo key to get in there. Extendo key to get... Wait, I know! You could build one using your disassembler. Here is the blueprint. Uh, Laszlo? This blueprint calls for a skeleton alloy? Yeah, that's what we call a rare component. Sometimes you need rare components to build inventions. But where am I supposed to get the alloy? Well, I was just putting some paint away in the storage room and I saw a new chest in there. Maybe it's got some skeleton alloy in it.
It appears fate has brought us together again. Enough talk. I know you are the one who changed the garage code. Right you are, nephew. But if you ever want to see the garage again, you'll have to face my cannon challenge. Your talk does not frighten me, uncle. Very well. It's time for a light brunch. Nicely done! I underestimated your finger food dodging skills. Truly, you are one with the meatball. Thanks! I think. So, what's the garage code? Fine! It's banana! But don't think it'll be so easy next time. I'm upgrading to garlic cheese balls! I think you forgot to take out the trash, sweetie. Trash, right. Thanks. Camera. No! Carl! Somebody's stealing the time machine! Let me guess. Maybe a reckless teenager who never listens to his wise robot friend? Not me, Carl. Some guy in a, in a bowler hat. Ah, <laughs> oh, great. We're gonna find some way to blame me for this. You left the garage door open, didn't you? Next question. We have to tell your dad! Carl! What's the first rule in a situation like this? Uh, close the garage door. Ooh, low blow. No, it's don't panic. Now, we need to get the time machine back from that bowler hat guy. Well, you're dead, and I'm deactivated. Nice knowing ya! I can follow him in the prototype time machine, but we'll need to infiltrate the time laboratory security <gasps> vault. You're gonna break into your dad's time lab? Yes. Now, what's the fastest way to sub-level three? Let's see... Sub-level 3... Okay, you'll need to take the 415 Express, run the giant hamster ball to the third hall, jump through the spinning fan of death, turn right... No, wait! I mean left. Are you sure you don't want to tell your dad? I'm sure! Right. After that, you just have to make it past the robot guardian, but he's nothing to worry about. Sweet. High five. Yeah. I think that's it. Oh. Wait a minute. <laughs> Is it time to work already? Have a nice day.
Carl, I've reached the time lab. The prototype time machine should be straight through those doors. Hmm, that's weird. What? We should have encountered the robot guardian by now. Carl, Dad, upgraded! That's right, he did mention something about... Oh, no!
Terra Infiltratum is complete. Meet me in the garage. Whoa! Ah. Is there anything Wilbur Robinson can't do? Well, there's clean your room, be on time, tell the truth, put your clothes away. I'll oh, get Dad's time machine back from that bowler hat guy. Those doors, so long, Carl. Joke. Sit still, eat your veggies, return borrowed item, say excuse me, see your dad, play the trumpet, run for office. Wilbur Robinson has arrived completely undetected. Bowler hat guy!
But the time machine! But... Alright, alright, I'm on my way! Okay, Carl, I'm back. What's with all the girly yelling? Carl, what did you do? Don't even start, Wilbur. Everything was fine when I left. This is even worse than the invisible cow incident. There's a volcano in the middle of town. Your dad works for some guy named Emperor Stanley, and we've got giant mechanical ants running all around. Capiche? Hold on. The Emperor's name is Stanley? <laughs> this isn't funny. You're right. And do you want to know what else isn't funny? Giant ant stole the time machine. That's two in one day. Would your dad find Carl, out about this? Carl, you're all wound up. Let's just calm down, take a breather, and watch the sunset. The clouds are burning. Try squinting. <laughs> all right, look. There's got to be a way to track down the time machine. <laughs> well, I guess we could build a transponder remote. There's a junk shop in town that should have all the parts. I'm on it. The volcano train system is currently closed due to dangerous robo-ant activity. Emperor Stanley apologizes for any inconvenience. But I have to get to the industrial district! The tram will reopen once the robo-ants are eliminated. Thank you. <clears throat> uh, yeah. I'm the robo-ant exterminator guy. I heard you have a situation. Yes. Please inform me once you have eliminated all ant bots. No problem. Been doing this for years. Family business. Night generation. Total professional.
Hey, you're... I know. I'm... My biggest fan? Look, I could really use one of those... <laughs> um, you're not ready for this glove. What do you mean? Sorry, kid. I've seen your kind before. Chargeball isn't about fancy equipment. It's about skills. But I have skills. I am skills. Then prove it. Let's see what you've got. Whoa! 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 Excellent! Let's see what you've got. Yes! Today, looks like you're the champ.
you've got some nice moves. Looks like I was wrong about you. Those were some real nice moves, Wilbur. Here, the Varsity Charge Ball Glove is yours. Thank you, sir. This glove has a much stronger power amplifier than your <laughs> Pee Wee Glove. It'll make short work of those ants. is coming this way. Yeah, I can see that. These turrets are our only means of defense. They must be protected at all costs. Say no more. I'll take care of it.
Got them all. Thank you. Here is your transit pass. Enjoy your ride on the volcano train. That's great. But can we settle the bill now? I deal on a cash-only basis. The check is in the mail. Rats!
don't know what those robo-ruffians would have done if you hadn't come along. Name's Wilbur Robinson. Glad I could help. Well, young builder, I don't know who's worse. The Ant Queen or that Stanley fellow. Those ants are absconding with everything in sight. Uh, it's Wilbur. And I really need some parts. Do you have a radio fetter and some transaluminum? Oh, I've got radio fetters galore. Here, have one. Those beastly ants made off with the last of my transaluminum welder. Wilbur. Man, those guys get into everything! They seem to be headed for Old Town. If you can recover some of the transaluminum, consider it yours. My sincere gratuities to you again, young Otto.
transponder remote is ready for action. I'm getting a signal. It's close. It's... It's a hundred meters straight down. They must have taken it to the central hive. How am I supposed to get a hundred meters underground? Catch the volcano tram? You're gonna have to dig your way in, buddy. You know, they do a lot of excavating over in the industrial district. Maybe you can find something to help over there. On my way. My name is... Kid, I don't have time right now. A pack of wicked tough ants has taken over my warehouse, and all our construction equipment's in there. We can't get anything done. This construction equipment? Would it happen to include gadgets that might be useful for, say, digging? You mean like havoc gloves? Yeah, we got those. What do you think we dig with, spoons? Havoc gloves. Sweet. If I clear out those ants, will you let me have a pair? Hidden? You want me to just hand over some highly destructive excavating machinery to a kid? <laughs> okay, it's a deal. You get those ants out of my warehouse, and the Havoc gloves are yours.
you are, won't you help out a group of poor, dessert-deprived children? Volcanic rubble has blocked my ice cream shop! Is Whoa, this is serious. Stand back, everyone! in the lava at the old orphanage. What? And the worst part is, they're completely without ice cream. You've got to save them. Use the protectosphere.
Whoa! Let's get out of here. <sighs> I thought we were goners. I'm gonna get an ice cream.
Hey kid, my name is Melvin. You got a second? Sure, but what's with the ant costume? Yeah, uh, it comes with the job. Uh, I need your help for a minute. I'd love to, but gosh, I haven't seen any picnics. <laughs> oh yeah, uh. hilarious. I haven't heard that one before. Can you stop laughing for a minute so I can explain? <laughs> sorry, sorry. Uh, what do you need? I, um... Yeah, I accidentally uh, locked myself out of the hive. Uh, that happens to everyone. Hey, you think you could find a way past the energy field and uh, shut it down for me? No worries. I'm on it. Done. And also complete. Great. Now I can go back to my job where the thrills never stop. Say, Melvin, you don't happen to know where the Ant Queen is, do you? Yeah, she's in her throne room, as usual. Thanks. But you won't be able to get in there. I mean, you don't have the proper security clearance. Right. Look, I, I like you, kid. You helped me. Now I'm gonna help you. So I'll tell you what. There are these gold bugs scattered inside the hive. If you collect them all for me, I'll give you a key to the throne room. Won't you get in trouble? Let's just say I'm planning on moving on to a different employer very soon.
this time? Yep. Here you go. What do you need them for anyway? Oh, this is what the vending machine takes. I gotta go hatch me a replacement so I can go find a life. My throne room. Throne room? <laughs> uh, I was looking for the bathroom. My mistake. So if you just give me my time machine, I'll get out of your hair. No one orders me around in my hive. Not you, and definitely not Stanley. Destroy him. Even more rightfully, my dad's. Halt by order of Emperor Stanley. <laughs> Stanley. This vehicle is now the property of the Emperor. No! Do you know what I had to go through to get this? Please uh, step away from the vehicle. Uh, it's my dad's! Uh, Thank you. Have a nice day. Uh, No, please, let me clean up.
troublemaker! Emperor Stanley commands you! Rogue, theft, uh, stealing guy shall not enter Magma Industries! What? You stole from me! So hand over my time, uh, my harmless flying car, and I'll be on my way! Nice try! The time machine is mine now! No one gets in here unless I say so! Except through the pizza delivery action. Here's the Triple Supreme Thin Crust for His Excellence the Emperor! Uh, pay no attention to that. You will cower before my awesome power! You know, we should really talk this out face to face. I'll be up in a few minutes. No, 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 wait, wait, wait! Emperor Stanley doesn't do personal interviews! I, uh... my lair, hmm? But you have only sealed your own doom. None can traverse my magma gauntlet of flaming flame! Well, someone must be traversing it, because you and all your employees managed to get in. What? Well, yeah, 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 technically. Okay. Giant molten wave of lava, go! Uh, that's not, um... Okay, okay, minor glitch there. Uh, have to talk to IT about that. But try finding your way out of the room in total darkness! Oops, um, okay, where did that go? Ah, aha! Total darkness! What? Who puts emergency lighting in a... Uh, I'll be right back. Ah! 
further into my domain than I would have expected. But now you will fall for an eternity into my bottomless pit of death! <laughs> huh? They told me it would be ready last weekend. You two, destroy him! No substance on Earth can even scratch it! Let's see you get past this one! Will 
destroy the whole city! Silence! Ah! I said silence! And once you're out of the way, I'll celebrate your demise with a thin crust pizza. <laughs> There used to be a problem with the toggle switch! No!
what you did! The ducts are fused open and, and now lava will flood the city! You have to stop it! Yeah, it's too late. Why are my greatest accomplishments always met with complete failure? It's been this way my whole life. Ever since the science fair. The science fair. My ants. Stanley, you klutz. It was your fault. My volcano. You ruined everything. All I ever wanted was to show magma displacement to a captive audience. So far, so good. Hey, kid! Can you get that ball? No! Sorry! I can't interfere or else I'll mess up the future! Okay, thanks! Hey! Great volcano! Ooh, nice ants! I gotta go. Hello, Lewis. That's him, Doris. No doubt about it. Delightful. Wait! She's gonna blow! Help! Carl, I've lost him! <laughs> the bowler hat guy! <laughs> we must be headed into the future. I'll be right there. Yes. No ants, no volcanoes. Now all we have to do is catch that bowler hat guy. He could be anywhere. This could be tricky. He could be any time. Yeah, this is going to be impossible. But what we do know is that he's not here right now, or there right now. That is a start. I'll search the timelines and see if I can track him down. It'll only take a few minutes. How many minutes? Oh, seven and a half. That long? I'm sifting through millions of alternate realities. What do you want What here? am I supposed to do for nearly eight minutes? I don't know. I've got timelines to scrutinize. Fly away, little monkey. Fly away. God. That was not seven and a half minutes. I was estimating. It looks like he's at the science fair. Science fair, huh? Gee, I wonder where that is. 
to the time machine! Again! I'm sorry, Dad. I'm sorry I messed all this up. Carl's sorry, too. What? I didn't do anything. And Carl didn't do anything. Carl! I only said that because I thought you were dead. I was kidding. It was hardly even your fault. Uh-uh. Don't you shift the blame on me. Okay, fine. I... Yes? I... You can do it. Should have listened to you and Dad. There. Now, doesn't that feel better? No, it hurt. Dad, the science fair! I've got to go back! Oh, wait! I thought you were through messing with the time machine. I have to make one last trip, Carl. I have to make sure that someone important keeps moving forward. Carl, theme song, please. The other one. Way to go, little buddy. <laughs> <laughs>